In the last lecture, we used update object, this utility function. Now there's one other feature we also share across multiple files and hence it would make sense to outsource it. I'm talking about the validation logic, check validity. It's the same method in the off container and the contact data container. So it makes sense to grab check validity and put it into our shared folder into the utility.js file, for example. You could also create a new validation.js file, whatever you want. So I'll use check validity. Of course, it's no longer a method. Here instead it's a function. So let's export it as an arrow function, which expects two arguments. This is how simple you restructure it. Export const, an equal sign and an error. And inside the function, nothing has to change because we're only working with the function arguments in there as we should in a good function. So we can now use check validity in the contact data and the off container. Let's start in the off container because there I just removed it. And for that, I'll import it from the utility file where I also imported update object. And I now simply need to replace my call to this check validity with just check validity, which I just added the import to. And that's all. And this makes this file a bit leaner and removes this unnecessary code duplication. Now let's do the same for the contact data. There I'll also import check validity from the utility file. And then in the place where I do use it with this check validity, I will simply call just check validity. And of course, that means I can now remove the check validity method. Let's save both files and let's see if this still works. If we go back to the application and we start building a burger, let's have a look at our contact data there. If I empty this, validation still seems to work fine. So everything still works, but now of course we greatly improved the code by outsourcing check validity into its own file.